We all have to deal with such unpleasant thing as red eye effect. It is a defect that occurs when you are taking pictures of people or animals, and as a result pupils in the images look unnatural, usually red. This of course spoils the picture. If there is such a problem, you can improve the image using only Photoshop, something that not everyone can make on their own. Why does it happen and how can we avoid it now? When the picture is taken, the flashlight is reflected from a person's or animal's fondness in the camera lens. When the flash fires, its light reaches the fondness through the pupils and it is then reflected from the choroid, which has red in it, in the opposite direction, in the lens, until the aperture of the camera has not yet closed. It is logical, since the pupil is a hole in the iris, and as we light and take a picture of any hole, we get an image of what is behind it. Although in this case, of course, we don't want it. The more light is reflected, the redder are the pupils in the photos. The effect depends on how enlarged the pupils are at the moment. Therefore, when shooting with a flash in the dark, the red eye effect is more likely to take place. When the human eye, as they say, gets used to darkness, the pupils dilate. In addition, the design of the camera also influences this effect. Cheap cameras, point-and-shoot cameras, that combine lens and the flash in one casing, have this effect more often. As the flash is close to the lens, the form is placed on the optical axis of the lens. Due to this, more light falls directly on the eye. The color cannot be only red, especially when you take pictures of animals, such as cats. This is because their eyes have a slightly different structure. How do we deal with this? The easiest way is not to look into a camera lens, but it is certainly not the answer. If the flash design permits, the strobe can be directed not at a person, but at a reflective surface, such as a ceiling, or you can install a special reflector for the flash, or use a diffuser. These are all the technical tricks to illuminate the object you are taking picture of in such a way that will help to avoid undesirable reflection. There is a completely different way, and it is to deliberately narrow the eyes of the object beforehand. How do you make it? There is a special flash mode in which it gives a series of two. The bright light from the first gets into the eyes and forces the pupils to narrow. Then the next second flash is actually used to illuminate when taking a picture. It should be noted here that children's pupil reaction is slower than the adults, so this method may be less effective when you are taking pictures of children. To avoid this effect, try to take pictures with a good full sky illumination. We hope you will have lots of nice pictures.